Love and Light Collective, thank you for taking the time out to click on Kiara's Love Tarot. I truly appreciate each and every last one of you beautiful viewers for tuning into my channel and hearing what it is that I have to say on this lovely, gorgeous day, evening, night, morning, afternoon, whenever you're seeing it, because it is timeless. Okay, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, comment below, like, 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 okay, help this video circulate, and keep in mind it is a general reading, so only take what is your situation and leave the rest, everything may not resonate with you in this video, <clears throat> so only take what's yours, let's go ahead and tap straight in, and first off, I'm getting an energy of somebody being excited as hell, because they finally got that text. Okay, they finally got that text message from that certain someone that they've been waiting on. Okay, let me sip some water. Somebody been waiting to get a text message from somebody or for somebody to speak out, somebody to communicate, somebody to speak their peace, come tell you something. Tell you how they feel, apologize, or simply you just been having a silence game with somebody. You, I ain't speaking unless you speak. Or you've been really withholding yourself from somebody. You've been um, trying your hardest to stay away from somebody. Or you've been waiting on this person to crack. You stand at your ground. Or... You both trying to stand your ground, but you can stand your ground longer, stronger, and harder. And you've been waiting on this person to shoot a text to you, shoot some communication to you, and they have definitely texted you, okay? Or if they haven't texted you yet, it's in the works. It's coming. Like, they keep typing the text messages, but then they don't send it. Or once they want to send it, they reread and like, nah, I sound too simpish. I sound too baby fat. I sound too cry baby ish like i'm not finna say all of that somebody's like going back and forth on if they should explain themselves to you because they see you're not about to explain yourself to them or they don't have the right words to say to you at the moment that's if they haven't sent a text but some of them just said fuck it i'm about to just take my chances we need to talk i need to hear from this energy i need to get something off my chest okay for some of you guys, you excited as heck. You in a group chat like, oh my God, so-and-so text me. Or guess who just tried to call me? Just Guess who just tried to text me? Guess who just communicated? Guess who cracked first? And spirit is like, yeah. They did text you to see if you're dumb still, okay? <laughs> some of y'all probably wasn't expecting that. They're only texting you to see if you're still dumb. To see if they can still manipulate. To see if you're still acting like you're not up on game with their games at this point. They they want to see. Okay? They want to see. So, Spirit, give me messages. Give me cards. What What's going on? Why are you texting other than them being dumb? What's going on? Yeah. I'm not calling you dumb. I'm just saying they're sending a text to you just to see if you're still dumb for them. To see if they still have you in the same place. If they can still get away with the same energy. We got compassion and spirit guides. So, they still don't have compassion for your feelings. Um, they still don't have compassion for the situation. Um, this person is holding the world in their hands, so they think the world revolves around them. They think they control your world, and they don't want to bring any compassion to the situation still. But they may have spirit guides attacking them at the moment for being wrong and being uncompassionate about a certain situation that occurred or how they're going about something with you, how they're handling the situation, which is pushing them to come speak to you. But they may not come to you in a compassionate way. It may not, the text message, it may be a text, but it's not going to be showing any compassion or it hasn't showed any compassion to how they feel or, I mean, to how you feel. Okay? They're not willing to own up or it's just a, they may have done something real 
unforgivable and want to just text you talking about some hey. What you mean, hey? What do you mean, hey? You mean I'm sorry? I apologize. I was wrong. Hey? And some of you guys are getting excited. You may have friends looking at you like, girl, you excited over a hey? Like, oh my God, he misses me or she misses me. I told you they weren't going to ignore me too long. And people is looking, whoever you're telling this to or whoever you're excited to this, excited about this to, they're looking at you like, girl, this person is triggering you once again. Every time you get to that stepping stone, here they're going to send you a text to trigger them feelings. And you letting them. And if you're not telling people you're communicating with this person, you're just getting excited. Like, I knew they loved me. I knew they couldn't be without me. They can definitely be without you, viewer, okay? That's just what I'm being told. They're willing to hold out to get what they want. They're even willing to lose you to get what they want, okay? But something inside of them, what we got the Ten of Wands in reverse. Frustration, okay? They're frustrated. Um, they tired of contemplating, okay? Or they're tired of you putting them in a contemplating energy. It's bugging them. Or like I said, they're frustrated because they can't go to sleep in peace without thinking about you, dreaming about you. They can't stop hearing songs with your name in it or hearing songs that remind them of you. They're being consistently reminded. They're being bugged by their spirit guides about you to show you some compassion, to show you some, look, they're getting a lot of reversals, to show you some, um, com show some compassion to you. This could be a dark-skinned energy. We got the page of wands and we got the two, ten of wands popping out in reverse. They're frustrated, Okay. They feel like they've been doing the same thing for too long. So they feel like y'all been beefing too long or they feel like y'all ain't been talking too long or they're kind of getting irritated. You guys had this cycle where y'all fall out and go silent with each other. Y'all could be the same zodiac sign or y'all could be in the same zodiac sign group. Like you're both fire signs, both water signs, both air signs, earth signs. So you have similar things about yourself. But they're tired of going through, they they sick of you standing your ground and them standing their ground. One time, like one phase, you'll stand your ground longer and then they end up cracking. The next phase, they'll stand their ground longer, you'll end up cracking. But that cycle is kind of getting old. And for some of them, they just simply want to talk to you. They do, but they're still not compassionate. They're not coming with compassion. They're not coming with compassion to the situation or they don't feel they did anything wrong. Okay. Some of them could be going through like a legal situation or have a court case pending and they need your support. That's for certain people, not everybody. Um, or they feel like they will lose or they feel like they losing something with a court case and need your energy. Um, but they're lacking compassion. They're having bad luck. Or since they haven't been talking to you, they've been having bad luck for several months. And they need an outlook. They need a positive outlook on life right now. So they want to communicate with you. They want you to lift them up. Okay. Or maybe you're feeling this way. and Or maybe y'all both going through stuff. But either way, viewer spirit is like, look. Yeah, they guys is pushing them and apologize to you. But accept the apology and keep it pushing because they're only texting you or apologizing because of guilt, because of their spirit guides pushing for it. Their spirit, it's not something that they would be doing if they didn't have their spirit guides bugging them about you, which means there's really no compassion there, which means that they're only texting you to get rid of this guilty feeling that they can't really live with at the moment if that makes sense okay we got the page of wands in reverse this could signify a male under 30 so your person may be under 30 they could be stable but have a boring personality they got in inadequate social skills low self-esteem repressed anger they want to dominate others they want to seek to control them blows things out of proportion overreacts unrealistic about money or just unrealistic period. They're better at spending money than earning it. And they think the world owes him a living. Poor work ethic, don't wanna work, don't wanna do. 
you coming to me with that energy, with that funky ass attitude, you did me wrong, and you coming at me like that? Baby, bye. Is what you need to be telling this person when they text your phone. Okay. Look, heartbroken. We got heavy set woman. So somebody could be a heavy set woman or someone could be heartbroken over a heavy set woman. Any more messages, spirit. They also um understand. They may know you're heartbroken. You may be putting it out there that you're heartbroken. They're coming to trigger you. Okay, or they want to catch you before you're coming out of that heartbroken stage too. Like I said, they need you, but they want to come at you with nasty energy. Or they're not being compassionate to your heartbroken energy that they put you through. So they're trying to, this is like somebody that's gaslighting you. Like they want to come and they want to start an argument kind of. Like they want to act like they checking in on you. Like they want to check on you after hurting you. I just want to. I just want to check to see how bad you hurt. That's all. Fool me, fool me twice. Can't put the blame on you. So spirit is letting you know, like if y'all let this person fool you again, if you get to communicating with this person and get to being cool with them, get to knowing that you're heartbroken and you're trying to heal, you cannot. Be, heartbreak is like an addiction. It's like when a person is addicted to a drug and they're in rehab that drug needs to stay away from them from around them nobody that's on the drug need to be around them you need to completely have that drug out of your life because it's a chance you might relapse and that's how it is with this person you may be heartbroken right now about this person or heartbroken you may not necessarily be heartbroken but you're still heartbroken over the events that occurred in y'all situation and this person just wants to trigger you you could also be heartbroken that you've gained so much weight dealing with this person too. And you may be getting to a healing space. And it's like this person want to come and reactivate, reopen the wound. Like your wound is closed up. The stitches is in there. But they want to come unstitch your heart and make you feel that pain again. Because they're miserable in their life. They're going through stuff. So they don't feel like you should be happy either. And spirit is like, if you entertain this person, some of you guys don't even need to respond to this text for real because you're giving them energy to feel strong. And then that takes the little energy you have to feel strong away. And God is saying, if they fool you again, this is your fault. Because you've been warned. We got the interview went great. Some of you guys are getting new jobs. Doors are opening for you. All with this person not being around. And here they go popping up. Some of you guys may have recently just did an interview. As soon as you get done with this interview, here comes this person texting you. Or they're going to text you after getting a job that could change your life, change your um, way of living. Here come their negative energy. Mm -hmm. I want you back. They may send you a text saying they want you back. They want to get back with you. They want to fix this. But really, they're here to fool you again and re-break re your heart. I forget who sang that song, Re-Break My Heart. But they want to come re-break what you've spent time putting together. You've spent time getting, you, getting on your feet, getting a job, doing something for yourself. And here they come with the I want you back trying to trigger your emotions. But they're not coming with any compassion or their apology is just not... It's not seeming like it's going to be compassionate to you. Like, they're not going to really want to discuss the past. They're just going to want to jump straight into a new phase of deception with you. Like, hey, how you been? Oh, you got the job? How much they, How much you make an hour? Oh, okay. I want to come through. Like, they don't, they want, they're not going to really acknowledge what they did. You're going to be like, um, you don't remember what you did? Like, you're going to have to bring it up. But they also might text you on some, I got a good job. I got a new job. Like, I had an interview today. I'm trying to change things. It's going good for me. Now that I'm working, you know, I think maybe we could work it out and get back together. Like, something like that. Any other energy. I can't go. I do have, I do not have a babysitter. Some of them might text you and try to get you out the house. Ask you to go out of town. Y'all may share a child together. 
and they asking you to do stuff but not trying to help you find a babysitter that's your responsibility they feel like it's your responsibility to watch get a, a sitter for our child for me to take you to do something or yeah i want to take you out okay i don't have nobody to watch the baby oh well that's something you need to figure out if you can't figure that out i can't take you like this ain't they baby too but i feel like some of you guys are not strong enough to deny going out with them or going on a vacation with them so god is gonna purposely put you in a position what position where you don't have anyone to watch your kid or kids so that you can't go out with this person they're trying to protect you from this person so they don't make it so that you don't have a babysitter or you may have to this person may end up texting you or you might have to text them because you got a new job and they may be mad about things not going right in their life and then wanting you back and you only keeping it about the kids and end up you end up needing them to watch the kids for you and they tell you no and you purposely they're purposely trying to prevent you from getting this job or working this job because they're mad if they self they're miserable and they mad at you with this i can't go i do not have a babysitter they may purposely put you in a position or tell you oh you don't respond to my text i ain't watching the baby on monday for you to start your job type energy give me one more card dm to df i hope i can make you mine before another man steal your heart and part of them can sense a new situation around the corner or you have a new situation you may be still heartbroken but you're forcing yourself to date other people to get this person off of your mind or simply you hurt yes yeah, spirit is like you hurt but oh well here come your new man here he go and this person could be coming in to conflict your feelings towards this new person by texting you triggering you which is making you feel uninterested in this new person because like damn I've been waiting all this time for this person to reach out to me. Now that I'm dating somebody, here they come with a text. And it's like, I love him or I love her. That's your feelings on the inside. But it's like, no, ma'am, you mess up with this good person that God sent you. And you're going to be the fool by yourself. Spirit is saying, you're going to be in that by yourself. You're going to be able to be mad at nobody but yourself. That's what I'm hearing. But, yeah, this person is coming back to stop you from going too far with someone new they can see this or they can feel this spirit what is the overall energy of this reading i'm hoping i can make you mine for another man steals your heart and once this beauty is mine i swear it will never be Walks by me every day. Okay, so yeah, this might be a new love at the workspace too. Like somebody that you be walking past every day and they own it with you. You may be talking about this, making this public, or mutual friends may be passing a message. And this is why this person is texting you. See if they can ruin what you got going on. Yeah, flirt. Extend your lighthearted other. Somebody telling your person you flirting, you doing you, you starting over life is getting better for you and they're like well, let's see let's see if she really into dude or let's see if she he he's really into her let's see yeah soulmate you didn't found somebody new yeah yes this is your soulmate this is somebody that's gonna be in your life for a little minute if you let it Love yourself first, reverse. So spirit is like there's still a lack of self-love in this situation. Because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't even respond to this text. You wouldn't entertain them or allow them to break up your happy situation at the moment. So someone still is needing to work on self-love um, and ignore a text message, okay? Somebody's just texting you to see if you still dumb in the situation okay so that's what i've picked up for you guys i hope this video resonated with someone if it did make sure you like it and comment below love and likes